So, um, can you hear me all right? Uh, uh, good. Um, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to uh, open up, I guess, uh, today's uh, workshop. Uh, I'm uh, Ken Ramos from uh, University of Louisville and a uh, co-chair of uh, the workshop, uh, along with my partner uh, in crime, uh, uh, Brooke, who's uh, sitting here uh, uh, in the audience. Um, uh, clearly, I think uh, an extra thanks uh, goes to uh, pretty much everybody because of uh, uh, weather-related uh, issues uh, and uh, all the uh, challenges that I think uh, many of us have, have faced uh, in coming uh, to the workshop. Um, a few uh, housekeeping items uh, before we kind of roll in. Um, remember that this meeting is being uh, webcasted. Uh, and what that means, of course, is uh, not only that we have about 75 people uh, online uh, listening to us, but that if you are going to make comments and you want them to hear your comments, uh, that you have to use the microphones, uh, uh, which are going to be, uh, as you see, in every slide right here. And I think there's a portable micro, uh, microphone that uh, Keegan uh, will be um, uh, using as well. Uh, if you like uh, tweeting, um, your uh, Codes are uh, right there, uh, which you could use. Uh, and of course, um, uh, we're in, I think, uh, for a uh, uh, fun time uh, for the next uh, one and a half days, uh, talking about something that I'm sure is uh, close and dear to everybody's heart as it relates to uh, public uh, uh, interfaces uh, and, in this case, uh, uh, dealing with sustainable infrastructures. Um, so, uh, clearly, I think the first uh, place to begin is to tell you uh, a bit about uh, what drove uh, motivations uh, by the task force uh, in um, uh, putting together uh, uh, the workshop. Uh, I think uh, probably preaching to the choir by telling you that, uh, of course, life science um, is finding increasing uh, relevance in, in the public dialogue. Um, sometimes I think is for the good, uh, in some instances perhaps uh, not so good, um, uh, since uh, communication of course can take uh, multiple directions, but the important I think element to this is that um, science, the word science, is increasingly being becoming part of the uh, lexicon that, that the public utilizes. And of course, those of us interested in on the scientific side of that uh, uh, dialogue uh, oftentimes uh, find ourselves uh, uh, wanting to communicate and, and the question then of course becomes uh, how best uh, uh, to do that, uh, recognizing of course that communication is really a, a, a two-way street at a minimum. Um, one of the uh, challenges that uh, we have encountered uh, over the years uh, is of course that uh, the importance and relevance of science in, in public dialogue uh, is continuing to be debated. Um, and um, one of the things that the uh, roundtable uh, sort of recognized in its discussions is the fact that uh, as part of that dialogue, one of the areas where we probably have not spent as much time as uh, we would like to is in the area of sustainable infrastructures and uh, particularly barriers uh, uh, to uh, community engagement, to effective communication, and uh, in the end, of course, uh, for all of us to realize the benefits that, that science uh, can, can bring forth um, uh, to all of us. Um, the Roundtable on Public Interfaces for Life Sciences uh, was uh, constituted um, uh, under the uh, Division of Earth and Life Sciences of the National Academies of Science. Uh, essentially to try to uh, tackle uh, what is captured uh, uh, here uh, uh, in this slide, uh, a group of leaders uh, representing uh, diverse audiences, uh, federal agencies, business community, uh, non-for-profit, as well as the academic sector to come together and essentially uh, constitute a, a uh, think tank, if you would, um, uh, where we would engage in dialogue and not only engage in dialogue to try to tackle questions related to uh, science communication, but perhaps more importantly identify areas where uh, we can make uh, meaningful contributions collectively uh, uh, as a uh, body of, of thinkers. Uh, I think uh, uh, my choice of uh, pictures uh, here for the slide uh, is really uh, not fortuitous. It's essentially trying to uh, convey uh, a couple of points. Uh, uh, obviously, we're all 
uh, coming together uh, on a round table uh, to, to try to tackle uh, some of these important issues. But uh, notice that the connectivities uh, are not uh, necessarily the same. Uh, that's intended to represent the different sectors which are uh, constituted within the task force and the different perspectives which, of course, uh, become critical uh, to dealing with issues like this, and of course the fact that each one of us uh, brings uh, a, a different perspective uh, uh, to this question. Today, as you know, uh, the intent is for us to uh, uh, talk and focus on the issue of uh, sustainable infrastructures. Before we do that, I'd like to uh, uh, recognize uh, members of the task force, uh, many of which uh, are here, uh, many of which uh, are not here. Um, and of course, um, uh, acknowledge uh, Mary Merenbaum and uh, Dietram uh, Schoffel, um, who are the co-chairs uh, of the task force and, and actually very inspiring leaders uh, in, in walking us through uh, the difficult tasks that um, we are uh, facing. Uh, you can see the names uh, listed here in the interest of time. I'm not going to uh, read them all. Uh, uh, please uh, take a quick glance, uh, get yourselves acquainted with those names. Uh, and um, let's uh, make sure that um, we uh, utilize uh, these people as a resource uh, as we engage in the dialogue. In asterisks uh, are the uh, members of the uh, planning committee for the workshop. I've already uh, uh, introduced uh, Brooke Smith, uh, who is the co-chair for the workshop. And uh, we have uh, uh, Steve Palacios and uh, Mary Marenbaum, um, uh, who also uh, worked uh, uh, with us in doing this. Um, last but not least, of course, is uh, NAS staff, which, which as you know, uh, is uh, truly uh, the big hand that uh, keeps you uh, uh, and enables you to be able to do your job. Um, I'm particularly thankful and like to, rather than waiting till the end, do it at the beginning, uh, acknowledge the outstanding contributions of uh, Keegan Sawyer uh, to really making um, uh, this workshop uh, a reality. Uh, Keegan, uh, we're very grateful to you for all that you've done, and I'm sure that we'll continue to do uh, to um, make sure that, that this workshop uh, produces what it needs to produce, uh, which is an opportunity for us to uh, come together as a group uh, to uh, tackle um, this interesting question. Uh, I wanted to take uh, a few minutes uh, of your time only to, to introduce myself as a, as a player uh, in, in this dialogue. Uh, I come uh, to this uh, with a, uh, an interest in uh, genetics, uh, environment, and um, disease. Uh, I'm a scientist and a physician who is uh, obviously involved in, in trying to uh, communicate, uh, whether I communicate with my students, whether I communicate with uh, my patients, whether I communicate with the public at large uh, uh, on issues related to science. And, and one of the things that um, uh, baffled me, certainly uh, as I engaged in this dialogue, was uh, how uh, challenging it can be when when different cultures try to come together to tackle a common problem. Um, and um, I use the word, uh, the word uh, culture uh, not trivially uh, because I think that um, uh, in fact uh, one of the greatest challenges that, that we will uh, continue to face is the idea that, that we each each bring a different perspective to, to a common problem. And because we bring a different perspective, our filtering is different, our way of looking at the problem is different. Uh, I got into uh, the uh, realm of uh, public communication through the Centers Program, uh, uh, through the National Institute of Health, which back 20 years ago recognized the importance of taking science to people, making science meaningful to people. Uh, we were, at that time, uh, about 25 years ago, asked to uh, put together a community engagement course uh, uh, to the Center's program. And uh, frankly, it was uh, uh, almost uh, comical uh, to watch uh, the scientific community uh, truly scramble because scientists had no clue. Uh, how to talk to the public, how to uh, approach uh, uh, the uh, uh, issues that were uh, faced. And of course, that was, I think, a rude awakening uh, uh, to some of the problems that we will be facing today. So that's, that's the um, uh, filter that I bring uh, to the workshop. Um, 
quickly uh, workshop uh, at a glance. Uh, uh, you've, I'm sure, taken a, a good look at the uh, the agenda uh, for the day. We've uh, had to make a few adjustments uh, in that, uh, given the uh, constraints that we faced uh, with people coming in and out. Um, th this initial session will remain uh, pretty much as we had planned it initially, uh, and then we will make minor adjustments as we go through the day, course of the day, so that we're actually able to complete the agenda and um, carry the meaningful discussion. Uh, here is just the, the broad headings. Uh, we're going to have our background and vision, which is what we're doing now. Then uh, we'll talk about life scientists engaged. Uh, we'll spend, I think, considerable uh, effort talking about frictions and momentum. Uh, then we'll uh, move on to uh, uh, connections, uh, funding uh, pieces, and as depicted uh, here uh, by the uh, figure, uh, then uh, have a dialogue about sustainable infrastructures and, and how uh, uh, we can optimize those and take advantage of, of what they can offer as we move into the future. I'm hoping that the meeting is one in which we uh, engage in dialogue, uh, in which we listen to each other, in which we allow our differences uh, uh, to come out, uh, so that in the end, uh, hopefully, uh, we can identify areas where uh, both the roundtable as well as you uh, in your own individual efforts can uh, come together to advance uh, the issues at hand. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, my uh, colleague, uh, Brooke Smith, uh, who will be giving you perhaps uh, some granularity to uh, the issues that we want to tackle today and hopefully frame the questions for you. Thank you for being here.